The dawning of a brighter day to me was important because these people were starting a new life. And I wanted the title to represent what they were doing, that they had to move forward now into a new life and a new life of God. And so for me, dawning of a brighter day tells you that, that we all are waiting or going forward. I uh, actually was very excited to do the Wilfred Woodruff paintings because I love history. I mean, I love these people and I've painted them for years. 30 years I have focused on the pioneers, the mission, the uh, saints that have gone out as missionaries. And Wilfred Woodruff is actually one of my all time favorites. Uh, so the process for me was thinking about something that would touch someone else. And so I had to think about that for a while because there's a lot of them with him. Yeah. And for me, it was the baptism because uh, I just love that thought that he would go through the spirit and touch people. And I especially love his part about baptizing these people. So that's kind of what I did is I set up a baptismal scene and I had to look at his face then try to find a model that looked like him. And, and then I decided that I would pick a person that I had studied and painted before as the person he's baptizing. So that was Ann Jewel Rowley. She was a pioneer that came West and uh, she became converted to the gospel of Jesus Christ just by seeing and hearing his words. So to me, that was special. My process actually was starting a painting in oils, a larger painting. I felt like that one should be larger because you can have a lot of people behind it. And um, so as I started to do that, I thought, well, I need to have some wonderful colors in the background. And I often do that. I'll put an orange or a yellow underneath everything. So when you're painting it, it unites the painting. And especially around them as they're in the water. So I love doing that. I loved uh, doing that process uh, and trying to capture him and capture an emotion in the, the two of them. There's always challenges. <laughs> the challenges uh, came trying to capture the emotion of their face and still make it look like them, especially Wilford. I wanted it to look and feel like him. And it was, you know, when he was a little younger. So I needed to make sure uh, his face looked that way, but yet had the structure. For me, the structure matters. So I would study his face as an older man and then study the younger pictures that were available and try to incorporate that. And that was a challenge. Uh, as far as Angel Rowley, that was a little easier because I looked at her as an older person and then just made her younger. I would challenge each one of us to look back in our history, in our relatives, in even people who have changed lives like Wilfred Woodruff, and let them teach you. Teaching by reading what they said, by reading how they were dedicated, and their whole heart was into doing this. And so the Lord was able to use them to help people come unto Christ. So I challenge each of us to do that with our lives. And as we do that, as we follow that process or that path, that we find others along the way, maybe in the 1800s. The pioneers have changed my life totally. And I've painted them for 30 years, including included uh, people like Wilfred Woodruff. And I would never be the same had I not done that.